Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm out in a western Kentucky cornfield with a John Deere R4045 sprayer that is applying herbicide over the corn crop to kill out crabgrass and weeds. This is currently the largest sprayer offered by John Deere. It is rated at 346 horsepower, has a 1,200 gallon chemical tank, and a 120 foot sprayer boom. A 132 foot boom is optional for this sprayer. A new 1,600 gallon model R4060 is on the way for model year 2020, and I'm looking forward to seeing that sprayer at work out in the field. But for now, we'll take a look at the R4045. We'll see and hear it at work in this video. And to get started, we're gonna climb up in the cab and ride along with the operator to see what it's like to drive a big machine like this. How's the spring going? So far, so good. Moving right along. So I know the, the first question people are going to have is, why are you running an angle across the field and knocking down the corn? We don't have the fancy equipment to follow the road, so we go at an angle. I guess it's more of a calculated damage than if you get a little off going straight back and forth and knock a bunch out. Right. You can knock out a whole row of corn and not know it. This way you're only knocking over a couple plants per row and it's, you know, acceptable loss, I guess you could say. Well, it definitely helps the rest of the crop succeed. It does. So I can see here you're using shared data. We've got three sprayers out here again and you can see the light blue where the other one did the headland. Matt's turning around here. And then the autopilot will take over and steer us back on the next path. We can see the wheels are not following the rope. But again, just a little bit of damage to have a lot more yield elsewhere. You can see those 120 foot booms. That's two of the 24 row planter passes across the field each time the sprayer goes. How fast are we going, Matt? I'm uh, doing 17. It's a little bit faster than wheat, less ruts and bumps. Yeah, it's a little smoother and we're putting out less gallons per acre, we're putting out 12 gallons the acre, so we can go a little bit faster. So what are you, uh, what are you spraying here as the corn starting to come up? Uh, it's herbicide to kill the weeds. Make sure that corn gets all the fertilizer and the weeds don't take over. So now does the farm uh, spray again for insects or nitrogen at all on the crop? But or what, what no, will happen the, next? Uh, the anhydrous was the only fertilizer it'll get, and uh, this is the only time we'll spray it, other than uh, the fungicide, which we use a, a haggy sprayer for because it's taller and you can get over the corn. Uh, yeah, I guess that'll be right at the end of June, early July, when it's all tasseled out. And, yeah. Be long before this is knee high. Yeah, the first uh, the first corn we planted is is knee high. It's, it's coming along pretty good. So, how many acres are you getting uh, between Phillips out here? Uh, One hundred acres. Nice to be able to ride a little bit longer. Seventy acres. Okay. Yeah, the <laughs> last time we were with you, you were filling up quite a bit. Again, we can see the row shut off here as the boom comes on going across the field. Very efficient way to cover a bunch of corn in a short period of time. Yeah. I 
And again, I guess we can see you've got your iPad that we've seen on the other trips where you're yep. painting across this field. Yeah, here's the field that we're in right there. And we actually had a comment earlier in the year from an engineer that develops these kind of things and he appreciated seeing all the the bounce that you have. You, you don't think about having to touch a screen going 17 miles per hour, but that's, uh, that is <laughs> part very, of the engineering to make it all work. It's very challenging. <laughs> Matt, as always, thanks for the tour of the sprayer, and I guess Anytime. we'll catch Anytime. up with you after the double crop beans are planted in June, and you'll be spraying again. Yeah. I get to mow hay next week, so. All right. Well, we'll look forward to... Or once we get done with corn, anyway. <laughs> you'll mow the hay, yeah. and we'll see you up in the S790 cutting wheat. There you go. When you're driving down the road, the cornfield looks like nice, perfect rows of corn, and soil and it looks picture perfect but upon further inspection as this corn is growing there are weeds also growing in the field and crabgrass we can take a look over here there's a lot of crabgrass already working its way up in between these rows and it's a tough plant you know you can't just pull it out of the roots it's down in there and we've got a variety of broadleaf weeds coming up and they can grow as tall as the corn and choke it out. So this spray pass helps knock those weeds out simply and easily when they're young and helps improve the yield of the crop when it's harvested. Here we have a good opportunity to see how the automatic boom shutoff works on this 120 foot wide sprayer. As each 10 foot section passes over an area where the sprayer has already applied the chemical, that section shuts off to not over apply in those areas. And you'll actually see it may have a little burst where it didn't catch something on a turn on the headland. And then you'll see it section by section coming on as it crosses into the new area that needs to have an application made to it. Up in the sprayer, we talked with Matt about running across this field at an angle. And I know at this point, some of our viewers from the flat, wide open areas of the corn belt where the fields are perfect squares, this is pretty disturbing that the sprayer is not following the corn rows. Here in Western Kentucky, the fields are rolling, they're odd shaped, there are sinkholes, washouts, and other obstructions that don't allow for these sprayers just to run in perfect squares. You can see here where the sprayer was on the headland and it got off course and it knocked down a whole bunch of plants. When you're running at 17 miles per hour across the field and you get off your row, it'll be 30, 50 feet before you can react and get back on the row. So you're gonna knock over plants one way or another. Here we can see what Matt was talking about. It's just about two plants per pass as the sprayer runs across the field. And that's better than what we saw in the headland where it had knocked off a bunch of rows if the wheel got a little out of alignment. Here's a prime example of why this farm is applying herbicide at an angle rather than following rows. We can see a pretty significant washout in the field. This is right where there's a tile and a drain and the sprayer is going to have to go around it and it's just easier to run at that 17 miles per hour at a hard angle and not have to worry about staying on the row.
The number one question many viewers have is what does a big machine like the R4045 cost? According to JohnDeere.com, this sprayer with the 120-foot steel boom has a list price of $492,440. That's a big investment, but this machine can do a big job. In total, Matt will drive the R4045 that he operates across 30,500 acres in one year. In just one week in the month of May, he ran across 8,000 acres. He applied fungicide to 3,700 acres of wheat in three days and turned right around and applied herbicide to 4,300 acres of corn. This farm's three R4045 sprayers will make multiple passes across their fields in one growing season. They will apply fertilizer, herbicide, fungicide, and insecticide to corn, wheat, soybeans, and hay. In one year, they will have covered a total of 92,000 acres of application. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this western Kentucky cornfield with this big John Deere R4045 sprayer. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comments section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.